almost becoming like the norm, but they're not healthy in a way that they're able to have a conversation like we're having right now. Mm-hmm. Or even to have showered to do that. I think that um, I think it's a huge problem with like emotionally retarded men. Um, I'm, but don't you think like men at their baseline are kind of emotionally retarded? I don't think it has to be that way. I think there's a mm-hmm. lot of stuff that goes into um, there's 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 so much that goes into this. Like um, uh, like I've heard for instance that uh, men tend to be more physical. Uh, when it comes to expressing emotion, women tend to be more um, verbal when it comes to expressing emotion. Um, if you have a little girl that is like crying or having an emotional outburst, um, there are like ways where she's like consoled through that. Like this is how you process emotions, this is how you do things. So women like grow up and naturally, no, not naturally. Women grow up and they're trained to have like a better- Socialized. Hand, yeah, mm-hmm. handle on like how to do it. Mm-hmm. Whereas for like boys, like usually we wanna punch something or hit something or throw something. Mm-hmm. And you're immediately, like there's never a healthy, like parents won't buy you a punching bag They'll tell you to stop hitting the wall or stop throwing things or do whatever. So you're you're very much like shut down at an early age and stunted kind of em- uh, emotionally as a guy, and you're trained that way, socialized to grow up and not know how to process emotions. Um, I think that some things that explain the differences between behaviors between men and women can go through the, the emotional maturity that both sides have. And I see this huge gulf sometimes in the emotional maturity between men and women that make it hard for men to talk to women and make it hard for men to talk to themselves, uh, like mm-hmm. other men sometimes. Mm-hmm. So here's a stat. I think that it's like 37% of single women are okay being single and don't care. And I think that number is like 24% for men. Mm-hmm. And one of the explanations I've heard for that is that women friendships are really really awesome yeah when you're a woman you go out with somebody they come back what'd you guys do how did you feel what are you gonna do in the future blah 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 sure. you know like all these things or whatever and it's like for a guy like he might be like ready to f-ing kill himself tomorrow he's drawing the plans up you know and his friend's like how you doing dude and he's like okay and it's like all right yeah <laughs> and that's like it um and you can see this in the differences there's so many things like um for for one guy to talk about his sexual relationship with his wife to another guy is like an almost unheard of thing. It's very rare that men will share sexual things about it. But for women, it's super common. It's so common that sometimes so common. yeah, they're like showing f-ing like yeah, here's my the, my husband sent me this yesterday. Like isn't this like cute or blah blah? Like they're just like they're way 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 more open uh-huh. about it. Um, and it's it sucks because on one end for like i'll say like the left there's like no examples for positive masculinity because they hate men okay i know mm-hmm. they don't really but like they spend so much time focusing on like the toxic aspects of masculinity they only talk about like how to do it positively and on the right they try to make it sound like well this is just the way that men are they are toxic they're saying this is the way men are and they're supposed to be that way and it's uh-huh. like well come on like you like uh, uh, sometimes it feels like on the from the red pill perspective like a guy can be one of two things he's either this f-ing stoic like chuck norris like nothing bothers me like f-ing, i watch my whole family die in front of me yesterday i'm eating a steak right now i don't f-ing care i'm just moving forward as a man or uh-huh. you're like a blubbering crybaby you know blue-haired f-ing loser with a septum piercing who just cries when he sees a puppy on the street right and it's uh-huh. like no like come on there can be like a middle ground where you're a guy who sure. when you talk to a woman you can have like an emotionally available conversation you don't have to be crying all the time or whatever but you have to be able to f-ing communicate without expecting the woman to be your mom or without you coming across like a f-ing sociopath mm-hmm. and um yeah, whether it's those early aspects of socialization as children, whether it's like the media we consume or the content creators that are speaking to like men, I feel like there's just so like horrible, there's like no guidance for like how men can kind of be like emotionally open and available to people. And they just get such horrible messages from both sides. It really drives me crazy. Mm-hmm. And, and then to wrap it all around, I feel like that contributes a lot sometimes to the unevenness in dating markets to where women are more content being single. They're like, oh, f- it. Like I've got really good relations with my girlfriends. And for men, it's like the only time I've ever been able to emotionally open up to anybody in my life is when I have a girlfriend. If I don't have that, I'm like, fuck, you know? And it's like, mm-hmm. geez, yeah. Yes. 